Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to VWTM Sports. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and uh, tell your friends and leave your comments. This video is one that probably won't be popular amongst boxing fans, particularly boxing fans that are believe everything the media tell them and will allow their eyes to become the eyes of bias commentating and are uh, and are led by former champions um that may just be following the agenda of well the best way to, to, to the the best way to say is following the agenda of the media outlet at the time that's what they're paid to do they're not paid most times to voice their own opinion and sometimes when they voice their own opinion they could lose their spot their position before i go any further and there are a few people out there who who, who would jump on and say ah it's women's boxing you don't like women's boxing just to shut your mouths i have been a big pusher for women's boxing since 2013 when there was no women's boxing on um the likes of ava knight we've spoken to um so many female boxes and so many females have been on the channel uh, itself so it's nothing to do with um uh, being a sexist or anything like that um i have a huge respect for female boxing or women's boxing um it is what it is when when women and men are paid equally in boxing throughout the scales then i'll stop calling it women's boxing and men's boxing once that happens then we will just have boxing but when there is a disparity between how much men, how much money men are getting paid and how much money women are getting paid then we'll talk then then, then you know then we'll uh, change the conversation to be boxing because that's not fair women are not getting paid the same i've spoken extensively to ava knight i've seen fighters like heather hardy change go from boxing to um to mma or ufc mma i've seen uh anna hulerton another top fighter move from boxing to uh, mixed martial arts so for me i think i can speak with some authority when i'm speaking about women's boxing i'm not just jumping on a, the bandwagon because uh i just want to talk about it and i you know there's some things in boxing you cannot avoid and tonight i'm going to talk about those things you cannot avoid whether you're a man or a woman this video will address those issues tonight so this is talk about is katie taylor so i'm talking about katie taylor so uh yeah uh, yes, Gail. Good to see you in the room. Uh, Gail says, morning, afternoon, evening. Can't wait to hear this. She says, uh, good evening to all. Uh, women also need to fight three minute rounds, not two minutes. Yes. Thank you for mentioning that, Gail. That's a very important part. Women do need to fight three minutes of the round. But if they're not getting paid the money they should be getting paid, then they can continue fighting two minutes. I've got no problems with that. They want three minutes. Let them be paid equally like the men. Let the men women be paid exactly the same as men. We don't have to call it women's boxing no more. We call it boxing. So it's equal opportunities from both sides. That's it. Equality. That's all I'm interested in that. So, but my point tonight or today, well, it's a number of points. Katie Taylor, you know, in the UK, uh, we're very quick to embrace people who are not, for example, um, Guy Cochran's fighting um, Jeff Horn Wednesday night. Here's another example of our UK press. Um, Gary Crocken's fighting on Wednesday, Wednesday against Jeff Horn. You would believe that Gary Cochran was English. He's Irish. Um, the tennis player, uh, very successful. Uh, I can see his face now. Murray, the tennis player. Is it Murray? I think it's Murray. The tennis player. Well, when he won Wimbledon, it was like, yeah, he, he's he's British. Well, he, he's English. No, he's Scottish, and he's quite clear to tell you he's Scottish. So, um, you know, we're very quick to pull. Now the Katie Taylor story is, oh, Britain's Katie Taylor. Well, K Katie's actually from the Republic of Ireland, and she's Irish. 
So um, let's make something clear there, who they are and where they are and their identity. They're very, very proud of their culture and why shouldn't they be proud of their culture? And they need to be claimed as what they are. And Katie Taylor is, although she's fighting in the UK, she's from the Republic of Ireland, has come a long way, has won Olympic gold, has had a decorated amateur career, was number one in the world for ages, fantastic fighter. This has got nothing to do with her amateur career. This video has got nothing to do with, um, you know, uh, whether she's Irish or she's English, nothing to do with that. But we're just calling a spade for what it is. Andy Murray, thank you very much, Gail. Now, my point is the last fight Katie Taylor fought in, and people say to me, uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts on Katie Taylor? I say, I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah, she's female. Yeah, she could box. Yeah, she had a decorated amateur career. Yeah, 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 all that. Great. But you're asking my honest opinion. I think she's a good fighter as a pro. I think she's a good fighter as a pro. I heard an interview uh, today by her promoter. And of course, a promoter is meant to sell her up. And I've got no problems with that. But be honest. Tell the truth. You're saying, oh, she's going to be a global star and she's going to do this and she's going to do that and she's going to do, she's going to be here and she's going to headline there. Oh, she might well do. And I've got no problems with that either. What I have a problem with was her last fight and her fight before that and her fight before that and the fight for, before that. Why? It's something I always go on about. It's called defensive responsibility. And Katie Taylor is not defensively responsible. Katie Taylor is a fantastic boxer. But what pains me in boxing is when you see fighters or boxers who have tremendous talent, who can box behind a jab, who can move, who can give you lateral movement, eating punches or taking punches unnecessarily. And I've seen Katie Taylor on a number of occasions. And I talk about fighters that have repeated processes or history in coaching. Uh, and this is another sport now in cricket. Most people may not appreciate cricket. But in terms of my role, in terms of coaching and video analysis, what I look for is repeated patterns or repeated actions. Does a person do the same thing over and over and over again? So that's how you troubleshoot to see, well, OK, you keep doing this all the time and you keep getting yourself into problems every time. And so therefore, that's why you're getting yourself into the problems you're getting to. Technically, let's see if we can fix the problem. OK, look, this is the problem here. Let's fix that problem. OK, but that, that's analysis for one sport and cricket, but you need analysis throughout. Now, we talk about going back to the drawing board. Most of the time, people go back to the drawing board because they don't actually pay attention to what's on the board at the time and what's going on. Defensive flaws or, def or lacks of concentration or in Katie Taylor's case, in all the fights I've seen her, for the majority of the fights, when people start throwing punches back, is that she's taking big punches. And I have a problem with it. And for this reason, Katie Taylor's last fight, I thought she got tagged and I thought she got hurt in her last fight. You know, and, you know, the commentators are like, Katie Taylor's doing brilliant. Katie Taylor's doing fantastic. Oh, brilliant, Katie Taylor. She becomes world champion. Bravo, a lady of that talent and that skill and ability. Why not? Why are you not world champion? So congratulations to Katie Taylor for that. And I'm not being sarcastic about it. This is where I have a problem. It's when we see the problem, like most boxing fans, we see the problem and we ignore it. Ah, it's part of a style. It's part of the promotion. Ah, it's part of... I'm calling it for what it is. Katie Taylor takes too many punches it's like i hit you you hit me i hit you you hit me and that's okay if you have a limited boxing ability and you know you didn't have a decorated amateur career or you know you're you're you're, you're, you're limited on all you can do is just go fraud and, and brawl okay not everybody is going to be floyd mayweather not everybody's going to be um you know rigandau or let's not use that word at the moment uh, that's a bit of a uh, not a very nice word to use at the moment let's say uh, loman check but still those guys are skilled regardless one pound for pound fighter beat another pound for pound fighter so they're still skilled fighters you can't take that away now this is it 
when you keep swallowing up big punches from people who are not even on your level, you get away with it. And then when you finally decide to box somebody who can actually punch and has the ability to hurt you and get you out of there and you get knocked out, and this is not Katie Taylor talking here, in general, then we all want to talk about going back to the drawing board. We all want to talk about, oh, what happened? They weren't very good in the first place. I'm calling it for what it is now. Katie Taylor has got massive defensive flaws. I'm calling it now. You can't get away with it forever in boxing. Eventually, eventually, it catches up with you. And um, I didn't like what I saw in the last fight. And I hope to God, I pray, Katie Taylor does not box the same way that she boxed in her last fight. I don't, because you can't keep fighting that way, taking the punches she's taking and not get knocked out. And it would be a shame for a girl that's so talented. Um, Gail says, we cheer for all action Mexican style warriors like Olinda Salido. So why can't we, why can't the women be the same? Uh, no, again, no problems with that cheering, Gail, for those sort of fighters. But when they have Olympic pedigree, Gail, and they have the ability to box and box their head off of opponents, now, I was a big Oscar De La Hoya fan. And Oscar De La Hoya, for me, you know, he could box and he could brawl. So I don't mind seeing a tear up. That's when somebody's as competitive as you and you now have to resort to hold in a second. I have to brawl sometimes with this guy. I have to box sometimes with this guy. Holyfield Tyson, you know, Holyfield had to box sometimes, he had to brawl sometimes. I appreciate it. But the truth of the matter is this. It's not, I don't have a problem with the brawling. I do have a problem with the, bra the, the, the issues when we're not, when we are commentating or there's commentators and saying, okay, she's won the world title. She needs to work on her defense. I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing, brilliant, Katie Taylor. She's fantastic. She's unstoppable. She's the best in the world. And we've had fighters, not just Katie Taylor, but I'm bringing this to highlight here, just one of the problems we have within the sport in terms of commentating in the UK. And that's the problem I'm having here. It's not just one particular fight I'm picking on, but this particular fighter I mentioned because she has a fight coming up. And I really do worry for Katie Taylor. I really do. I mean, she, she's an older fighter. She's a more mature fighter. She's not like 23, 24, 25, 26. I think she's in the 30s. Katie Taylor, 31 or 32. So, you know, as people would say in the game, she's knocking on a bit. So we need to get the big fights as quick as possible. I ju I'm just concerned. I'm just concerned. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's in the best interest. Gail says, uh, announcers always hype the talent around the world. It's in their best interest not to point out too many flaws. Uh, it's not really in their best interest to not point out too many flaws because at the end of the day, you've got many fans coming from around the world watching boxing and there are people who can see the the light, can see the truth. And, um, you know, I, I think we have to be honest in this game. That's the problem. We need to be honest in this game and uh, it's not enough honesty in this game. That's the problem. And I'm just calling for what it is, somebody who's defensively flawed and I... I I don't see this bowling very well. I really don't. I've said it from, called it from day one. Um, she's world champion. You will never take that away from her, but I just don't want to see her get seriously hurt. I don't. So I've said it now. I called it for what it was about James DeGale. And people thought, ah, oh, you're talking rubbish about James DeGale. James will do well. James took an awful beating in the ring on Saturday night. Another one who lacked uh defense defensively irresponsible and we saw that saturday night billy joe saunders fights david lemieux another one i've called defensively irresponsible lapses of concentration at the highest level you can't get away with that stuff because there's always somebody there to chin check check you are you comparing katie taylor to the best in the world men fighters nobody will knock out katie taylor fact Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. She beats this girl easy. Oh dear. Oh well, okay. She may beat the girl easy. What I'm telling you now, you cannot ignore defensive flaws. And I've said it. I've said it. I've said it. Don't ask me no more opinions on Katie Taylor because I get inbox all the time about Katie Taylor. So I've said it. I've said it. I've said it. Do what you want with it afterwards. But I, I'm not going to ignore, um, you know, the fact that the thing for me is I'm disappointed because I think Katie can box much better. Um, I think she could still be entertaining, but taking the punches she's taken shortens her career. And I am always about the fighter um, getting hit as little as possible and making as much as possible. Uh, fight fans think differently and uh, they couldn't care less, to be honest, if somebody gets hurt and injured in the sport. So that's my thoughts. We all have an opinion and we're all entitled to opinion. But that's my opinion on the Katie Taylor situation. Um, I wish her all the best against her, her next opponent and throughout the rest of her career. But please, Katie, just don't just march forward in straight lines and absorbing big punches. Don't like it. It's not cool. Oh, dear. Right. Um, I also heard a story today that Tyson Fury has not turned up to his hearing. I don't know how true that is. Maybe he was caught in traffic or something. I don't know. So I'm not going to uh, sensationalize that. But I hear his legal team and him did not turn up to the UK to hear him today. That's what I'm hearing. I wasn't there. I don't know. So um, I'll wait to hear further on the story. Let's see what other people are saying. Uh, uh, go, go, uh, when is she fighting the Box Nation girl? Oh, uh, Nicola Adams. I don't think they are. Are they? He said, go good. You said, that, 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 uh, that's Katie Starr. I guess that's partly why she's got the matchroom deal because of her gung ho, no, gung ho attitude sometimes. It makes excitement. Uh, good, uh, good. Just women, women's, women have the right to box if they want. There's more injuries and deaths in cheerleading than boxing. True story. Okay. Um, go, good. Yeah says gail that's the truth my niece played pop warner football in the us wide was wide received and was a competitive cheerleader she was seriously injured cheerleading not a scratching football wow oasis says watch pink tyson fight on youtube and you'll realize how special female katie is katie is an olympic champion i said it already from the top of the this show please listen um katie taylor is not fighting tyson fury remember what are you talking about? That your, your statement doesn't even make any sense, mate. I don't even know how you can actually put two fingers together and type such a comment. Um, yeah, but Katie Taylor's not the only box in the world. There's Clarissa Shields. There's there's um there's um what's her name? What's the girl's name? There's my favorite fighter. Uh, what's an oh I've got the girl's name now? Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe I've forgotten her name now. I've got a complete blank because of the rubbish I'm reading. Oh, the lady of boxing. I can't believe I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Cecilia Brackus. Cecilia Brackus. Cecilia Brackus. Um, you know, you've got Lucia Rica, one of my favorite fighters, female fighters. We've got I had I had the pleasure of interviewing uh Lucia Riker and Lucia Riker actually did fight a man, so um, that didn't work out too well for her. But she still fought a man. There was a story that said that Lucia Riker punched harder than most men. I wouldn't want to find that out. Um, Katie Telly's five levels above Pink Tyson. Maybe she is, but then Nicola Adams is a double Olympic champion. What's your point? Um, yeah, so that's my point. All I'm saying is that she has some defensive flaws. I am concerned about them. And um, I'm talking about Katie Taylor. I'm not talking about anybody else in the world. 
Katie Taylor's the video the video I'm talking about. So that's it. Um, I wish of I can I wish you all the best uh, going forward in this next fight she's got coming up. But like I said, I've said what I've got to say on the matter, and that's it. Thank you all for listening as always. Um, I wish I could add some more, but um, I actually thought uh, Katie Taylor was a better fighter in 2012 when she won the Olympics. I, I'm kind of glad you said that because that's actually true, Aces. She was a better fighter when she won when she when she was in 20, 2012. I actually don't think Katie Taylor is improving. It. I think I think she's I think she's actually on the slide. People will say that. I think I'm mad in saying that. But I do think she is. But hey, you know, I hope she does. She hopes she proves me completely wrong and she works on the defense. It's unlikely to improve. That, that's unlikely to improve because I actually thought that girl in the last fight hurt her a lot more than people were aware of. So, um, you know, I don't know I've, I've said it. I've said it. It might be uncomfortable for some people. I might get thumbed down for it. But you know one thing here, if you ask me a question, I'm going to give you the truth and how I feel about the matter. I'm not saying I am, uh, what do they say, uh, know everything, but I do know some things. I do know if you have a leaky defense, a leaky defense or defensively irresponsible against a puncher, it doesn't end up well. Right, I'm out of here. Thanks for listening once again, as always. And thank you, Gail, for, as always, listening in. I appreciate your comments and your feedback, as always. Take care, people. I'm out of here. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and leave your comments. As always, this has been BWTM Sports. We're out. <laughs>